Straight from Rockstar's official Twitter, detailed depth and choice define every aspect of Red Dead Redemption 2. Weapons are no exception. For more info about the weaponry of Red Dead Redemption 2, including new screens, info, art, and more, Rockstar has updated the official Red Dead Redemption 2 page, and we're going to go check it out right. Weaponry. There are over 50 unique usable weapons, a massive range of options for customization, and a wide selection of different ammo types to improve accuracy, range, or damage. The more a gun is used, the better it will perform, but it will also start to degrade over time if not looked after. So a trusty sidearm needs to be kept oiled and cleaned. And here's some really cool catalog artwork. Wheeler, Rawson, and Company, Sporting Goods and Gun Department, the greatest mail order house on earth. First, the Cattleman Revolver. Relish the pleasure of this revolver. A militia favorite. Ranchers, lawmen, cattlemen, and cattle wrestlers alike swear an oath to this majestic revolver. It has saved many a skin and shed few tears throughout the years. We believe you will agree that there's no more iconic, well-known revolver on the market today. A sidearm for many years in the U.S. Army, it is manufactured at a factory we own and control in Worcester, Massachusetts, so they're using real names. Real cities, real states, and they did that in Red Dead Redemption as well. It is made by skilled laborers who work tireless hours each week and on the weekends for little pay in order to bring you the finest revolver in the field today. It carries the distinctiveness and beauty and design that will compel you to display it at weddings, funerals, and during late nights when tempers may run amok. The Frontier Revolver, still as popular as ever. It is the gateway to the riches of the Frontier. Whether cattleman, lawman, trapper, or aspiring tailor, there is no better revolver to have at your side than heading west into the land of milk and honey. The trail can be wary, the rider dull in the senses, but when a horse breaks to a fast trot, and you have one hand free, it can land on no more dependable sidearm than the Buck Cattleman Revolver. So that's one of the brands, Buck. And they're the ones that make the Cattleman Revolver. Next, we move on to the Volcanic Pistol. Handy for feuds and strife. The most explosive pistol ever produced. This pistol is the finest creation from Hutton and Baird. So Hutton and Baird is the brand that makes the Volcanic Pistol in the game. Direct from the factory via our warehouse, is one of the strongest pistols ever produced. Hold it to your ear upon firing and see. No, that's not a good idea. Imagine your delight and surprise upon boosting your hearing for well on a month when you realize the sure power of this finely manufactured pistol. Imagine riding along, singing into the blue distance with the hunting bared volcanic pistol at the ready, just challenging any creature to cross your path with imprudence or impatience. Choose your ammo wisely. All shrewd and smart governments have begun to use the finely manufactured full metal patch bullets in war. The benefit being that they will not shatter or tear the bones of man when he is hit. Rather, they disable the man, leaving him after wartime to tell all that will listen far and near the folly of making enemies with the original descendant of the 13 colonies. Next, the Springfield Rifle. A perfect shot crafted by Lancaster. They're the fictional brand that makes the Springfield Rifle. We fully guarantee this gun. A rifle that modernized firepower is the Lancaster Springfield the perfect breech-loading rifle, no matter where you and your kin stood during the War of Northern Aggression or the War for Southern Independence, must will agree that the greatest outcome of the engagement was the uh, conversion of rifled muskets to the ease and convenience of a breech-loaded Springfield rifle. Rifled muskets fire only two or three times per minute, where the breech-loading rifle can be fired up to 23 times per minute. A significant determining factor when it comes to disbanding bands of traitors or bringing them around to your side. A powerful hunting partner. With hounds baying in the distance, you make haste with your Springfield rifle at the ready. It is a pleasure to hunt with whether you enjoy cooking up squirrel, possum, jackrabbit, or raccoon. The action is keen and there isn't a chance a varmint will escape your shot and miss being spared at supper. There are many kinds of beasts that bother a man who toils in the fields or moves cattle for a living. In the past, dispatching these animals required a crude slingshot, bow and arrow, or fling in fire pots full of pitch or disease. <laughs> While it is a great joy to observe a warrant of hares being lit on fire, never to plague your garden again, 
It is the much more humane method to use the Springfield rifle from Lancaster to end their days. Next, the sawed off shotgun, a young man's first gun. Shoots a pattern in your target, dainty as a needleworker. For the man that enjoys wielding an honest surprise. <laughs> These are so funny. The sawed off shotgun by Peters and Jensen, or Jensen, I guess it could be Jensen, is made by one of the most nutty gun manufacturers that we have yet received response that didn't provide perfect satisfaction. Over the years, many have indicated the long, handsome wooden stock is a shame to cut through and throw away when the fashion to weapon that can be easily concealed under the trench coat for an evening dinner, card game, or impromptu departure of a colleague from a local magistrate. So the manufacturing outfit of Peters and Jensen, a company with the reputation of the fabrication of strictly high-grade guns, set out to make a lightweight shotgun that is easy to use and conceal, as many situations in modern times require. Where it may lack range, it does not lack power. The Litchfield Repeater, the rifle that brought peace to the plains. A majestic lever-action breech-loading rifle, this is the latest up-to-date creation from Litchfield Arms Company. It is a sleek and solid and made on the same principle of the previous model, which is to protect man and mirror on the frontier against those that ignore the teachings of the good book of their ultimate peril. Its rapid rate of fire is a joy to behold and infirmed who enjoy the ability to possess the firepower of a dozen muzzle-loading muskets. This is a powerful good rifle. Utilizing a 44 caliber centerfire metallic cartridge, there is no more accurate and reliable repeating rifle available from any outfielder at this price. Imagine a rifle that you could spend hours lovingly cleaning by a cook fire on a Sunday afternoon, then load it with cartridges and shoot all week long without having to reload. It is a relief from this kind of worry that allows a man to put his mind to larger tasks like understanding the meaning of the universe are finding a handsome woman fit and stout enough to survive a long winter and produce offspring without an untimely death. Such are the concerns to life on the plains. However, with this repeater from Litchfield at your side, you can do no wrong, no matter who you turn the barrel towards. And the final bit of artwork is various brands in the game. The celebrated Lancaster Guns and Ammo, Buck, accurate to the last shot, King Load, their accuracy is a testament to their quality from Knoxville, Tennessee. So there's another real city and state that exists in the world of Red Dead Redemption. And I think in the past, they've mentioned New York, Chicago, California and Red Dead Redemption. Probably some other real places as well. So there are real states and real cities that exist in Red Dead Redemption, along with all the fictional ones. Moving on to weapon choice and customization, with a myriad of customization options ranging from visual upgrades to new metals, woods, varnishes, and engravings to performance upgrades like new barrels, grips, sights, and scopes, you can design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want to. Every weapon's performance varies in terms of damage, range, fire rate, accuracy, reload speed, so it's important to pick wisely depending on the situation. And this feels like deja vu because this was in Rockstar's Twitter, I think two days ago. Anyways, the high rate fire of a double action revolver lends itself well to shooting on the move from horseback. If you're carrying something in one hand, like a lantern or a small animal, consider using a sawed off shotgun, which packs a much bigger punch at close range than other than a one handed weapon. The varmint rifle is perfect from hunting small game because it's far less likely to damage the quality of the skin and meat than a firearm with a much bigger shell size. When facing with just one or two enemies, you might want to go for the Springfield Rifle, which has a slower rate of fire but delivers much higher damage. For range, a sniper rifle of some kind is obviously a good choice, but scopes can also be fitted to all other types of rifles, enabling you to switch between regular view and scope view at any time. Metals and engravings are customizable per component. Select different colors and engravings for the trigger guard, barrel, frame, and more. You can also choose from a variety of inlay metals for the engravings on each part. For extra stopping power, purchase and craft a variety of ammo types such as split, point, high velocity, or explosive ammo. Your horse's saddle will store all of your weapons. Be sure to select and carry the weaponry you'll need when leaving your horse behind. As most of you already know, Arthur will only be able to carry a certain number of weapons. You won't be able to have an entire arsenal like you could in Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto V. 
Carry single-handed pistols, revolvers, and single-handed sawed-off shotguns on your holsters. Upgrade and reinforce holsters will protect weapons from degradation against the elements, while offhand holsters give you ability to dual wield. So we went over that a couple days ago. Moving down to Deadeye, and we did go over Deadeye last night, but we'll, we'll go over it again for those of you that didn't catch that video. Deadeye is a powerful weapon of its own, temporarily slowing down time during combat so you can pick off your enemies with more precision. The new Deadeye system gradually expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game, from automatically selecting targets in your crosshairs, to allowing you to manually place shots on multiple targets, to being able to shoot at will in slow motion, and ultimately to pinpointing the weak spots on your enemies for even deadlier accuracy. The system grows with you and your experience and can often provide the critical edge in a life or death situation. Preserving and unleashing Deadeye in gunfights with multiple enemies can be a critical strategy for turning the battle in your favor. Paint your enemies with targets and unleash a rapid fire hail of bullets. As Deadeye progresses over the course of the game, you'll be able to see critical and fatal points on your enemies, such as heart, brain, lungs. Deadeye drains over time as you use it. You can replenish it as quickly in combat scenarios by consuming provisions or tonics. And I believe uh, cigarettes actually help with Deadeye as well, but it does affect health or stamina. So just be careful what you're consuming in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now let's check out some of these weapons in action. First off, the Bolt Action Rifle is strong and versatile with an ammo capacity of five rounds, an ideal choice for long range combat with multiple targets. The Carbine Repeater is a reliable repeating rifle with a solid firing rate and quick reload speed thanks to the tube loading magazine in the weapon stock. The Cattleman Revolver has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds and is great for all around revolver with a good balance of damage, accuracy, and fire rate. And finally, the high powered pump action shotgun is a powerful weapon should you find yourself confronted by a wild beast or enemy in close combat. And there you go, the new section on the Red Dead Redemption 2 website. Link below in the description section. Despite the fact that there's over 50 usable weapons, let me know between these specific weapons, which one would you have by your side at all times? Cattleman Revolver, Volcanic Pistol, Springfield Rifle, Sawed Off Shotgun, or the Litchfield Repeater. Feel free and let us know below in the comment section. <laughs>